Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. And a cold Saturday it is here. Four degrees Fahrenheit. That's all it is right now. It's sunny, but it's cold. Anyway, I am... Um, I was playing around. I saw something on TV that I liked, and I thought I liked the style of what they did on this thing. And so I thought, hmm, I could do something like that. So I did. Then I didn't know what to do with it, so uh, I don't know. It was just an artistic thing, that's all. <laughs> some people paint. Oh, some people sing. Some people have tarot cards popping into their laps. And what you have today, it was already picked for you by the tarot gods. You have the Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups refers to the home and hearth, serenity of a familiar place. All that comes with family and friends. Someone looking out for your better interests. In numerology, a ten represents completeness and perfection. In the Ten of Cups, this meaning is the greatest happiness. Out of the Ten Cups, four are directly touching, perhaps reflecting familiar connections between the four figures. Its astrological association reveals that feeling rather than intellect is foremost. The warlike influence of Mars dissipates when in the sign of gentle idealistic Pisces. So the focus is on intuition and the emotions. The Ten of Cups reveals the benefits, love, and of security of family. It favors children as expression of love and often reveals that children will do well socially and academically, succeeding in their studies. The card, therefore, predicts great happiness for couples and families or equivalent close friendship groups. In work, the Ten of Cups shows peace and harmony for business partnerships and other key networks. Togetherness, not competition, will be your strength. In fact, anything you do en masse will go well now, from sporting activities, committees, and choirs to group trips and all collaborative projects. In relationship, this is an emotional time in wholly a positive way. Partnerships built on stability and trust become even more rewarding and supportive. Different generations of a family may come together and put aside old disagreements it's a common card for forthcoming weddings parties and other significant celebrations communication between parents and children children and grandparents and other family members will grow stronger and be more fulfilling if you have been undercurrents and changes in friendships and family bonds a family issue may need to be addressed as your routine is disrupted or you sense discord in some relationships. Also, you may feel that you're not getting an entitlement from respect from different generations of the family to enjoying enough time with your children. Your plan to bring friends and family together may falter due to miscommunication. Equally, the need to keep up appearances prevents authentic conversation and understanding. Friends may also pr prove troublesome under the influence of the reverse Ten of Cups, and as a result, 
one or two confidants step back from your circle or introduce you to a new friend of theirs with whom you don't feel comfortable, which upsets your happy dynamic. However, other people you prefer will come into your orbit to take their place. Do bear in mind, however, that these are temporary glitches rather than major challenges. All right. Anyway. Um, here, if you're bored, look, look what I was playing with yesterday. Just playing around with and... Uh, Feeling a little artistic like. for watching hope you all have a great Saturday peace believe and bye bye